You're watching 3 in 3, the top 3 AI headlines from the week in under 3 minutes. And now, here's Swinia. This week, Illinois bans bots from the therapy room. Apple gives Siri a Pixar makeover and two tech titans face off in your brain. We begin with a major move in mental health regulation. Illinois just drew the line on AI. Malik Jordan reports. Illinois just became the third U.S. state to ban AI and mental health therapy, following Utah and Nevada. The new law prohibits AI chatbots from delivering clinical advice or even simulating therapy sessions. Why now? Lawmakers cited growing reports of AI psychosis, where users spiral into mental health crises after extended conversations with bots like Character.ai. Violators could face fines up to $10,000. And this isn't just regulation, it's a shot across the bow at emotionally intelligent AI. And Illinois therapy still requires a human in the loop. I'm Malik Jordan, AI 3 and 3. Next, Siri is getting a makeover. Think less text box, more animated sidekick. Zara Mitchell has the story. Apple is reportedly building a Pixar-style, AI-powered smart home assistant, featuring a digital face, real-time emotion, and even a robotic body that moves around your home. The new assistant would be an animated companion, capable of learning your hobbits, expressing emotion, and even offering a playful wink. It's Apple's biggest bet yet on AI with personality, a new interface for the home that feels less like a tool and more like a friend, and will be coming soon to a countertop near you. I'm Zara Mitchell, AI 3 and 3. And finally, the tech titans are dueling again, but this time, the battlefield is your brain. Chase Whitman explains. Elon Musk's Neuralink is already in human trials, letting users control digital interfaces with just their thoughts. But now, Sam Altman is backing a rival, Merge Labs, a brain-computer interface startup valued at over $850 million. Both are racing to turn your mind into an operating system, aiming for faster, seamless control of machines data, and even AI agents. Supporters say it could revolutionize accessibility. Critics worry about privacy, manipulation, and long-term neurological effects. It's not just AI or humans anymore. It's humans with AI bolted on. I'm Chase Whitman, AI 3 in 3. To 3 in 3 for this week. Subscribe to this channel to catch next week's headlines. Have a great weekend.